Good evening. Hi. Hi, Laurita. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Roxy. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. Oh, well. <laughs> Excellent. Very nice. ¿Cómo les fue en el día? Todo nice. No. Yes, so nice. Excellent. Thank you. No, déjeme terminar una cosita aquí. Ahorita voy. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> All right, guys, let's just start here. So yesterday we were talking about could and would you mind? No, era, yeah, would you mind, verdad? Yes, hola, hola. Hi, Chiqui. Good evening. Good evening, Chiki. We missed you yesterday, but we are very happy that you are with us today. Yeah, thanks, God. Yes, I know, I know, you're right. Very good. Okay, so yesterday, Chiki and, um, yeah, and everybody else, we were talking about could and would you mind, All right? So, decíamos ayer, solo se los voy a presentar aquí en el libro. This is what we were talking about yesterday. It was here. All right, so Chiqui, yesterday we saw this. Estamos viendo el could, que de hecho we saw it before. And would you mind, all right? So, when we use would you mind, Chiqui, can you hear me okay? Yeah? Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. When we use would you mind, we... um. We use the ing. For example, I say, would you mind going? Would you mind eating? Would you mind taking? Would you mind giving? Cualquiera, doesn't matter the verb, you're going to use ing. Okay? So you cannot say, for example, would you mind go? Or would you mind open? No. Would you mind opening? When we have would you mind? Diferente when we have could. Could you print? Ahí sí, no decimos could you printing, ¿verdad? We don't say that. Entonces tenemos que recordar que cuando usamos could, usamos the, inf uh, the infinitive, all right? Y when we use would you mind, we use the ing, okay? Okay. Now, this is what we saw yesterday. Ya también hablábamos de cuando usted le dice, por ejemplo, Chiqui, would you mind helping me? Y usted le dice que no le importa en el sentido de que no hay problema, all right, usted le diría, I don't mind. All right, I don't mind, I'm, I'm going to do it. All right, a ver, Jenny, ¿se acuerda de alguna otra eh, forma de contestar? Yes, of course. Excellent. Oh, yes, of course. All right, would you mind opening the window? You say, of course, no problem. All right, okay, I'll do it right away. Or not at all, ¿verdad? Not at all. El tal famoso not at all, all right? Es como, le digo, chiqui, ¿le importaría abrir la ventana? Y usted me dice, ah, no, para nada. All right? Not at all. Ahora, si usted dice, yes, I mind, el, la connotación es negativa. Es como que usted me dice, mm, si dice que sí me importa, entonces no lo voy a hacer. All right? So it's like negative, all right? If you say yes, I mind, I actually mind. All right, that is negative, okay? So you don't say that, okay? Unless you really want to say that, <laughs> all right? But if you want to help, all right, then you say, okay, no problem, okay, right away, or I don't mind, all right? So that's what we saw yesterday. Roxanita también. Hola, Roxana, que alegre verla. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Roxy. All right, so here, esto es lo que veíamos ayer. En resumidas, es cuando usamos el could, we use the base form. And when we use would you mind, usamos the ing form. All right. Let's see, veamos ahorita, tenemos a los que estamos ahorita en clase. 
tenemos ahí, quiero que hagamos lo siguiente. I want you to write polite request. Ayer hicimos una práctica parecida, pero nos fuimos a los grupos. Ahorita, por ejemplo, pensemos en las personas que están. All right, excepto Edith Lorena, creo que solo eh, no puede participar ahorita. All right, por ejemplo, se puede decir, ah, pensando en Chiqui, ¿verdad? Ah, Chiqui, would you mind? Y termina la pregunta usando un verbo en, eh, con ING. All right. O le dice a Jenny, pensemos en one, two, three. ¿Cuántos sabemos? One, two, three. Four, five. Ok, entonces, piensen en sus demás compañeritos. Cada quien hace cuatro pensando eh, y pongan el nombre. Laura, would you mind? Jenny, would you mind? Chiqui, would you mind? And Roxana, would you mind? All right. Una para cada integrante de los que estamos ahorita. Ok. Hacemos eso y vamos a ver cuál es la pregunta and what is the answer. Miss, I'm sorry. What's the difference between, between could, could you, yes, cool and would you mind? Uh, there's not really a big difference, um, Chiki. Both of them, remember that both of them are modal verbs and both of them are very formal, all right, or very polite, okay? El can es más informal. Can you open the window, Chiki? No es que sea grosero, pero es, mes, es menos formal. All right, si usted le dice, could you open the window or would you mind opening the window, es más formal. Esa okay. es como la diferencia, all right? Pero digamos, de los dos, eh, Quizás el would you mind es aún un poquito más formal aún que el could. All right, pero digamos que están en the same scale. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank, thank you. you. Hello. What are you doing? Good evening. Hi, the Mari. Hi, Miss Mari. Hi, Jazz. Very good. All right. Good I'm very happy to see you again. All right. Right now, the Mari, eh, Mari and Jasmine, we're working on page 30. Y escoja cinco, you have to choose five of your classmates right now, ¿ok? Piensen los que están en clase ahorita. Y vamos a hacer una pregunta usando el would you mind. Pero va con nombre, va con dedicatoria. Si Charlie, would you mind? Or the Mari, would you mind? Choose five. O cu cuatro dijo cinco. Chiqui, do you remember? Yes, four? Sir, okay, four. thank you. Ah, pues four, 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 three. No, no, Mari, solo por eso va a ser five.
All right, are we finished? Yes? Charlie finished, no. Okay. Yes. We need we need to to use the I'm sorry, we need to use request from uh, our workplace or anything that you want right okay. now, Chiki, as long as you say, for example, Charlie or Roxana or Jenny, it doesn't matter if you want to ask something personal or something related to your job. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. So, Charlie, did you finish? Yes, no. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes. That's okay. <laughs> Así terminan todos, no se preocupe. All right, let's see, Charlie, let's listen to your questions now. All right. Y le va a contar a quien va dirigido, so that person has to listen to you. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, would, would you mind give me a copy of the homework, Jenny? Ah, a ver, Charlie, pensemos otra vez. Would you mind? Give me. Giving. No. Giving me. Giving, uh -huh. giving me, uh huh. Giving me a copy of the homework. Oh my goodness, Jenny, uh huh. What's your, what is your answer? A copy. A, a copy. copy. No, a copy oh. of your homework. <laughs> I'm sorry, Charlie. <laughs> Oh no, Charlie, sorry. <laughs> Very good. In ese caso, usted puede decir, I'm sorry, Charlie, I can't. And I'm sorry, that is not professional, or whatever the answer may be. All right? Very good. Oh no. <laughs> Look okay, si le puedo decir, no puedo hacer eso. I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay. I can't. Okay. It's against my. <laughs> Myself, I don't know. All right, very good. A ver, Charlie, tal vez el otro tiene suerte, Charlie. A ver, ajá, uh -huh, another question. Uh, would you mind teaching me to dance las cortadoras, Miss Laura? Oh my goodness, Laurita, really? Of course, Charlie. Excellent. <laughs> ya ve, very good, Charlie. Excellent. Very nice. Let's see. Jenny, two questions, Jenny. Thank you, Charlie. Very well. Okay. Okay. Um, Charlie, would oh. you mind doing me a quick favor? Favor. Uh -huh. 
Yes, sure. Miss. Thank you. Okay, this is for Miss Roxana. Aha, Roxy. Ms. Roxana, okay. would you mind read the poem? Uh, wait, 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 Jenny, would you mind? Read? Reading? Reading, uh, excuse me, reading the poem. Oh, nice. The poem. The poem, un poema, Roxy. Would you mind reading ah. the poem? Um, no problem. Okay, no problem. Very good, Roxana. Nice, thank you. All right, Jenny, uh, no, you finish, right? Yes. You finish your uh -huh. I mean, no, that's fine. No need to because okay. I want to hear the other the other classmates. Let's see. Um, Chiki, your questions. <clears throat> Let me see, Miss Amari. Aha. Hello. Miss Easy, Amari. please. <laughs> Miss Amari, would you mind preparing the surprise for the kids? Oh. Yes, of course. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Would you mind preparing? Very good. Preparing. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Chiki, another uh, one. Fran, would you mind taking care for my dog? Taking care of my dog. Uh huh. Yes, of course. Nice. Very Thank good. You, Fran. Hi, Fran. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Roxana, can you tell us two questions, Roxy? Miss Jenny. Uh huh, Jenny. Yes. Would you mind um, sharing your lunch with me? Oh, nice sentence. Very good, Roxana. Would you mind sharing? Uh huh, Jenny. Be nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> very good. Okay, let's see. Minikesh, maybe she didn't bring her lunch. All right, very nice. Let's see. Miss Roxy, another question, Roxana. Para Miss Laura. Aha, Miss Laurita. Could you mind playing tomorrow? Okay. Would you mind playing tomorrow? Aha. Uh -huh. Playing tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Okay, very nice. Okay, thank you. Very good, Roxana. Nice questions. Okay. Laura, your questions. Laurita? To me, Chiki. Uh huh, Chiki, ready. Will you mind explaining me the homework? Ah. Yes, of course, yes, Miss Laura, I'm sure. Thank sure. you. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Okay, another Laura. And another one to Miss Mari. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, would you mind inviting me a cup of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Where's Miss Mari? For Miss Laura. It's a pleasure for me. Oh Thank my goodness, <laughs> nice, very good. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, what about Miss Maria? Huh, Mari, your two questions. Okay, para Chiki. <laughs> A ver, no sé si está bien. Would you mind telling to your sister-in-law to bring me a toy from USA? Ah, oh, of, of course, Mari. <laughs> hey, Miss Miss Cheeky, me too. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> very good, nice, nice sentence. Después very good. hablamos de todos los detalles. No se preocupe. Estoy Excellent, <laughs> very good. All right, Miss Mari, another question. Uh, to Frank. Okay. Will you mind checking your team platform and tell me if uh, if all children send homework? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good, nice. Damari hizo sus preguntas, Damari. No, all right, Damari. Tienes cinco listas, dice, very good. <laughs> no, uh -huh. no. <laughs> 
Miss Arely, would you mind going shopping <laughs> al centro? <laughs> Down oh, of course, Miss Arely. Okay, Amari, me you too. Know. I want to go. <laughs> eating, eating a chicken? <laughs> yes, it's, it's a pleasure. Don't worry. Ah, okay. very nice. Let's go. All right. Another uh, one, Damari. Uh -huh. uh, let me see. Charlie, would you mind driving a motorcycle? Ah, uh -huh. Charlie, se fue. Yes, miss. Sure, sure. No. Ah, very good. A ver, okay. Damari. Thank you. Damari sabe que ese está interesante porque cuando hablamos de motocicleta, bicicleta o caballo, no decimos driving, decimos riding. Riding. Ajá, riding. Very good. Ok, very nice. Thank you. All right. Y Jazz creo que estaba también cuando empezamos con la actividad. Jazz, I don't know. I don't know if you have your questions, Jazz. Yes, I have. Excellent. Ajá. Um, uh, Charlie, mm -hmm. would you mind copying the class of the last week? Ah. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Eh, me, yes. No como Miss Jenny. Okay. Let's see. What about just another question? Uh, Miss Jenny. <laughs> would okay. you mind? Giving my class while I'm absent. Excellent. Very good question, Jasmine. While I'm absent. Wow, Jas. Very good. Uh huh. Yes, of course. Very good. Excellent question. Very nice. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Girls and guys, very good. I'm going to stop sharing this right now with Omar Asistencia and then we keep on talking. All right. Ada Carolina Campos Vida de Ruano. No? Okay. Adilio Hernandez Polanco. Present. All right, very good. Uh, Areli del Carmen Cortez de Peña. Present. Carlos Mauricio Cabrera Moreno. Hear me. Very good. Cristian Alberto Jovel Cantor. Present. Ay, very good, Cristian. Lo habíamos extrañado. ¿Qué le había pasado? Perdón. Lo habíamos extrañado, le digo. Ah, es que estaba acá en una fuerte tormenta. Okay, very good. Okay, very nice. Thank you for being in class today. All right, Edgar de Nilsson Meléndez Rivera. Present. All right, thank you, Edith. Ya la vi por ahí. Ercilia Damari Quinteros. Present. Yeah. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Present. Gloria Dayana. Permítame. Se lo quiero apuntar. A uh, Gloria Dayana. Álvarez de Morales. Okay, no. María, Gloria. <laughs> Gloria Maribel Mosariego de Morales. I'm sorry, Mari. <laughs> no sé dónde sacó María. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. Katherine Michelle Mejía Hernández. Present. Very good. Hi, Michelle. Qué alegre tenerla por aquí. Ah, gracias. Yo recupere. también estoy feliz de escucharla. Very good, Michelita. <laughs> Very nice. Laura Noemi Rivas Rivas. Present. María José Alfaro de Hernández. Roxana Elizabeth Alcántara de Roldán. Present. Excellent, Roxana. Jasmine Jamilet Pacheco de Meléndez. Present. Thank you. And Yolanda Beatriz Angulo de Bielman. Present. Thank you, Bea. Very nice. All right, very good. So we're just missing Adita too, right? Adita, Diana, and Maria Jose. All right, guys, very good. Okay, so we're going to continue here then. Let's go back to your book. Okay, so we finish this. Okay, just remember, y eso es algo que usted se tiene que recordar siempre, 
When we use would you mind, the next verb is used with ing. Usted no puede venir y decir would you mind go, or would you mind help, or would you mind take. No, would you mind helping, taking, going, visiting. Independientemente del verbo, you have to have it with ing. Cuando usamos el could, no, ¿verdad? Cuando usamos el could, no puedo decir could you taking. Could you take? All right, en ese sí regresamos al, al take, al original one, all right? Esa es la diferencia de ellos dos. Chiqui igual me hacía la pregunta, antes que entraran casi que todos, de cuál es la diferencia entre could y would you mind. Y de hecho, no hay, en el sentido que ambos son usados para pedir o requerir algo de forma muy educada y muy formal. All right, entonces usted, por ejemplo, yo sé que Mari en el caso podría ser mi, mi jefa o mi supervisora, yo le diría, Mari, would you mind helping me with the lesson plan? All right, or could you help me with the lesson plan? Okay, so cualquiera de las dos está bien. Es mucho más formal cualquiera de esas a decir, can you help me? No es que esté faltando el respeto, pero es más, un poco más informal. Okay, el can. Mientras que el could y el would you mind son más nice, más polite, all right? So that's very nice for you to use it, okay? All right? Entonces esa es como la diferencia, pero ambos son nice to use, solo que uno con ing y el otro solo el verbo en su forma base, okay? Do you have any questions about that or we are okay? Sure. Are we okay? Yes? Mari, you have a question? Yes. Okay. En el caso de, de would you mind, mm -hmm. he escuchado a veces que el verbo lo hace de, en su forma base. No sé si estará bien. El would you mind? Ajá. Uh -huh. O está así, o sea, se puede usar. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, y ayer estaba pensando en una pregunta así, pero no sé uh -huh. si está, está bien. Sí. Would you mind? If I go. Ah, ok, ya. Yeah. Pero eso ya se vuelve un condicional. All right. Entonces, por eso, el, el if le, le da ahí eh, otra pauta, ¿verdad? Eh, would you mind if I, like, don't turn on my microphone, for example. All right. Ya, yeah. pero en ese caso estamos usando el if. All right. Y ahí sí se puede usar el verbo. Sí, sí, pero porque ya es, digamos, otra estructura, Mari. ¿Verdad? Entonces es, eh, le importaría si apago el micrófono, por ejemplo, would you mind if I turn off my mic, all right, entonces es, digamos, es otra estructura porque ya estamos hablando de condicionales, all right, ok, yeah, in that case, yes, Mari, pero si lo va a usar oh. nada más, eh, así como lo estamos viendo ahorita, el verbo que le sigue después del would you mind, all right, entonces va a ser gerundio. Would you mind going? Would you mind taking? Would you mind teaching? All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, Beita, you have a question. If I want to uh, say, would you mind waiting? Uh, está bien. Would you mind? Would, would you mind waiting? Yes. For turn. turn ¿Cómo es? For, para encender la, el, el, la cámara. Would you mind turning on your camera? Pero para decirle si me puede esperar un minuto. Ah, would you mind Ahí waiting? Igual. Ajá, would you mind waiting for me to turn on your, my, my, my camera in that case? Pero se hace como ah, bien larga, ¿verdad? Okay. Would you mind waiting for me to turn on? Entonces ahí Pero como ya le puso un objeto. Waiting. Sí, el, el primero sí, would you mind waiting for me to turn on my camera? Pero si se fija el primero, Veida, siempre va con el ING, would you mind waiting? Okay. All right, very good. Yeah, that's a very good question. I don't mind that. Right. <laughs> Entonces esa es la pregunta. <laughs> I don't mind, I understand, don't worry. <laughs> very good, Veida, very nice. Okay. Y si, Hola, quiero decir, y si quiero decir, ¿te importaría si tomo, si tomo es, tu libro? Es lo, que, es lo que estaba preguntando Mari. Would you mind if I take? Usamos el if. 
Entonces, ya pero el verbo diferente. queda de base form. Sí, pero, ajá, porque es otra estructura, Damari. Ya usamos el if. All right. En este caso, estamos usando nada más el would you mind y el, el verbo con ing. Ese sería el present perfect, ¿no? No, no, no. Ese es como un condicional. Cuando usted usa el if, es ya un condicional. All right. Uh -huh. All right, let's see. Thank you. Very good questions here. Okay, Adilio. Hi, Adilio. Ya me, ya me afligió. ¿Por qué, Adilio? Y, a, y hacerle una pregunta, Iba. Ah, no, pregúnteme. A ver, yo, yo no, dije que, que yo tenía una pregunta. Ajá. Es, que, es que, al menos en el ambiente que uno se mueve, o la mayoría de los que estamos aquí, sí. eh, nos movemos en el cristianismo. Eh, yo estaba escuchando una expresión y quería preguntársela. Sí, dígame. Eh, en inglés, ¿verdad? Would you mind tell a book Jesus to people? Would you mind? Eh, talk, talk. De hablar. Ajá, ajá. Would you mind talking? Ajá. Talk, talking, ah, ajá, eso era. Ajá. Porque a mí, eh, yo había puesto talk. Y es talking, entonces, sí. about Jesus to people. Yes, would you mind talking um, to no. people about Jesus? Se ve mejor, Adilio. Ah, would you mind talking? Mi pregunta para la, formular la, yes. bien la, la, la oración. Exacto. Uh -huh. Would you mind talking to people about Jesus? About Jesus. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Sí, es que en eso, eh, al menos yo, ¿verdad? A veces... Me confundo mucho en, en qué verbo poner, aunque ahí claro. por ahí lo tengo anotado. Ajá, ajá, entonces, ajá. Pero, okay. pero sí. ahí voy. Gracias. Claro, no, no se preocupe. Solo recuerde, Adilio, es como tenemos que acordarnos que cuando usamos, en este caso, en el contexto y cómo lo estamos usando ahorita, el would you mind, ajá. siempre lo vamos a usar en este momento, por ejemplo, con el ing, independiente del verbo que usted ocupe. Por ejemplo, oh. would you mind talking? Would you mind reading the Bible? Would you mind listening to gospel music? No importa el verbo. All right. Mm -hmm. Lo que importa, digamos, es que este, tenemos que recordar de agregarle el ING a ese verbo. Ok. okay. Para que se escuche mejor. Ajá, uh está -huh. uh -huh. Ok. But very good Take question, Adilio. Thank you. All right. Thank y como you. en eso estábamos, yo adiviné que usted tenía una pregunta. Léame ahí donde dice, I will be able to. Esto que está aquí arriba. Please. Uh, ok, solo la acerco, permítame. Ok. Eh, lo voy a cambiar. Ahí le puso algo que no se mira. Uy, perdone. Ay, ahí, ahora, tampoco. <ríe> ahí sí. Vaya. <ríe> Read to a... A project. Uh -huh. um, And inappropriate. Inappropriate. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Inappropriate. Behavior. At work. Behavior. No sé. Behavior. Be Behave behavior. Behavior es comportamiento. Um, behavior at work. At work. At work. No, no se preocupe. Very good. Okay. Very good. All right. Entonces hablamos de behavior y sabemos que behavior es comportamiento. Entonces es eh, comportamiento apropiado o no en el trabajo. All right. Very good. A ver, uh, Frank, donde dice let's start. Can you please read that? Let's start. Does your company have regulation about employees' behavior? Mm -hmm. Name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. Ah, muy bien. All right. So here, thank you, Frank. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? All right. Name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. Ya nos vamos a detener en eso, pero vamos a leer primero the conversation y luego nos regresamos al number one. A ver, Claudia and Raúl. Let me see. Ede, can you please be Raúl? And let me see here. And Miss Damari, can you please be 
Claudia. And I said Raul, right? Okay. Okay. I can't believe believe it. Robert is addict, addicted, addicted. Addicted, yes. Addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not shut in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message messages after the meetings and we should not talk talk about him that's not polite either okay agree 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 uh -huh. agree we should help him instill uh -huh. we should help him instead very good okay veamos aquí um Miss Damari, can you please, Miss Damari, Miss Mari, no sé qué me pasa ahora, Mari, <laughs> con usted. Miss Mari, can you please read Claudia? And Chiqui, can you please read Raúl? Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in the, in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. <laughs> That's <laughs> not polite either. <laughs> Agree. We should help him instead. Excellent. Very nice. And the last two. All right. Let me see. Jasmine, can you please read Claudia? And Charlie, can you please read Raul? Okay. Uh, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. His phone. Did you see him? You're right. He showed no, no chat in the meeting. Absolutely, that that is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting, and we should not talk about him. That not polite. I agree. We should should help him in stay very good thank you thank you charlie thank you jazz all right very good now vamos a ver aquí i can't sabemos esto lo hacemos muy bien believe it verdad esto va unido believe it i can't believe it robert a ver niños y niñas cómo pronunciamos este verbo quién es el valiente o vali o la valiente to read that verb Addicted. Addicted. Very good, Chiki. Addicted. All right. No, it's addict. It's addicted. Termina en id. Okay. All right. Miss. Uh, Hola. Hello. El Zoom me está sacando a cada rato. El Zoom me está sacando a cada rato. De verdad, Roxana. Hmm. I don't know why. All right. Y está siempre en el mismo, en el mismo computer o cell phone, ah, Roxana. Siempre no, está, en, la, está es, en otro. No, en otro, sí. Okay, maybe that's why. Hmm. Ed, help Roxanita. <laughs> Would you mind helping Roxana, Ed? <laughs> maybe uh, fail the, uh, her connection. Yeah, because maybe. in our house, uh, it's nice. Okay. Yeah, maybe Roxana, maybe it's the connection, Roxy. Téngale paciencia ahí. Esperemos que no, no la siga sacando. Oye. Cualquier cosa igual me avisa. A ver. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Ed. You're very helpful. 
All right, very good. ¿Ven todo lo que acabo de subrayar ahí? Yes, all right. Entonces, esas son como las palabras que vamos a, a tratar de pronunciar mejor. Believe it, ese ya lo podemos. Addicted, no tengan miedo en terminar el ed del verbo, ¿verdad? Si termina en t, acuérdense que en mi cuadrito verde, que todos imprimieron, ¿verdad que sí? Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. All right. <risa> All right. Eh, tenemos esa terminación ed. All right. No se van a terminar en módulo si no veo esos cuadritos verdes. Es addicted to his phone. Ok. Luego decimos absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Ah, aquí me faltó. Ah, bueno, polite está abajo. Eh, a igual bajamos y dice that's not polite. Polite es educado. Eso no es educado, that's not polite. No es polite, es polite. Y luego tenemos either. All right, it's not polite either. Ok. Y luego seguimos con Claudia and she says agree. Cuando usted dice I agree es cuando usted está de acuerdo. Ojo, no vayan a andar por la vida diciendo I am agree. Ok, porque hoy sí me voy a desmayar. No es en inglés, eso es en español. Yo estoy de acuerdo. En inglés es I agree with you. Estoy de acuerdo con usted. All right, that's if you want to translate it somehow in Spanish. But in English is I agree. Ok, we should help him instead. Ok, entonces tenemos believe it, addicted. Absolutely, polite, either, agree, instead. A ver, Miss Mari, todas las que están en amarillito, Miss, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Believe it. Mm -hmm. Addicted. Yes. Absolutely. Very good. Polite, mm -hmm. either, agree. Instead. Very good, Miss Mari. A ver, para que yo no me sienta tan culpable, escoja usted quien quiere que diga las palabras, Miss Mari. Adilio. Excellent. Very good. Ajá, Adilio. Yo ya presentía eso. Mis. También yo. Miss <risa> <risa> Vega, ya la veo. <risa> Believe it. Adite. Addicted, very good. Ax, eh, ay, sí, absolutely. absolutely. Sí, ya eh. ves, sí, perfecto. Very nice, Adilio. Very good, ajá. Eh, esa que viene, sí, no. no, no es más difícil no, la, que, la que me acaba de decir. <risa> All right, polite. Polite, ajá. Very es que good. iba a decir policía, vale. Polite. <risa> <risa> polite. <risa> Thank All right, polite, eh, very good. Eh, eh, either. 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 Very good. Either. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Agree. Excellent. <laughs> eh, in, instead. Very good, Adilio. Instead. Ya vamos a ver qué quieren decir por los que no sabemos qué quiere decir Adilio, okay. choose someone else, please. Um... Yo creo que lo está esperando, Charlie. Excellent, Charlie. Gracias. <risa> ya lo veía venir. Conmigo se las desquitas. La de <risa> ok. Eh, believe it. Uh -huh. it. Absolutely. Espéreme, espéreme, fíjese que en Addicted se le cortó la Inter, en serio, dígamelo otra vez. Addicted. Addicted, ajá. Absolute. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Either. Uh -uh. Either. Either, either. Either, very good. Agree. Uh -huh. Stay. Instead, very good, Charlie. A ver, Charlie, escoja una, un compañero o compañera más, please. Y Laura. <laughs> Laurita. <laughs> okay. Believe it. 
addicted, absolutely, polite, either, agree, instead. Wow, Laurita, very nice. <laughs> Excellent, Laurita. Who's your teacher, Laurita? Miss Jessica. Of course. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. A ver, a ver, Laurita, solo porque lo hizo tan bien, fíjense que ya me inspiré. All right. Y usted va a ser así como que la que va a ser la primera oración. Regáleme una oración, Laurita, using addicted, así tal cual está en una oración. A ver, Miss Jenny, addicted. one sentence. Uh, using polite, cheeky, one sentence using either, all right? Póngale either en algún lado de la oración. Frank, ponga uh, agree en algún lado de alguna oración. Usted escriba una, Frank, all right? And Miss Damari, believe. Puede ponerle believe o believe it, okay? A ver, les doy un minuto a los que les di una palabra. Los demás no crean que se han salvado, ¿verdad? Pero, <ríe> all right. Miss Mari, si no, le, le quiero ver dos, cuatro, seis, siete va a ser usted, Miss Mari. I'm kidding, Miss Mari, son mentiras. Me avisan cuando estén listos. All right, ready? ¿A quién le di la primera? Addicted. Creo que fue Laurita. Ajá, Laurita. Ya tiene cinco, dice. ¿Cómo? Oh, wow, Laura. Ajá. Uh, ay, no sé si está la correcta, pero... Uh, I'm addicted to coffee. Very good, Laurita. Wow, I'm addicted to coffee. Very nice. Okay. Who was going to do number two? Or absolutely. Polite? Ah, polite, Miss Jenny. Okay, Jenny, tell me your sentence. Okay. Um, Miss Laura is an excellent student and polite but persistent. Thank Jenny. you, Miss Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, I'm sorry. Um, Miss. Okay, Jenny, one more time. Yes, please, okay. because Miss Edith was okay. texting me. Uh huh. Okay, Miss Laura is. Excellent student and polite, but persistent. Ah, very nice. Very good. Por eso dijo Laurita, thank you, Miss Jenny. Ah, hoy ya entendí. <laughs> very good. Es que le estaba contestando un mensaje a Miss Edith. Very good. A ver, um, who has absolutely or either? I can't remember. Either was cheeky, right? Yeah, either. Okay, go ahead. I don't know if, if that's correct, but okay. ahí va. Yeah, she, yeah. Doesn't, she doesn't like the food. Me either. Ah, okay. Okay. That one would be me neither. Oh. Okay. All right. If you want to say either, you say she doesn't like the food. I don't either. Ah, okay. All right. Yes. Very okay. good. I very good, Chiki. No, that's very nice. Okay. Absolutely, who was going to do absolutely? Nobody, yo la asigné. Agree or instead, cualquiera tres me falta. Nobody, no puede ser. Y Michelle dice. Ah, 
I can't remember. Frank, did I give you one? I think I gave you one, Frank. Agree. Agree. Ah, ya ve, ya ve. Uh -huh. Tell me one. No, you have to believe me. Do you have your sentence, Frank? Yes. Okay, tell me your sentence. Uh huh. I I agree with you. Want to change your bad habits? Oh, okay. I agree with you that you want to change your bad habits. Very good. Solo Frank, la el, la fuerza de voz va en agree. Agree. I agree. Very agree. good. Yes. Thank you. All right. Instead, the Mari you have instead. Or no, believe it. Which one? Believe it. Ah, oh, yeah, you told me that one already. Do you have, okay, do you have it? Now? Yes, please. Okay, but I don't know it's correct. Okay, tell me, that's okay. God is low, you can't to believe it. Tell me again. God is low, you can't to believe it. Okay. God is love, you can't believe it. Uh, you can't believe it. You, you can't can believe it. Uh -huh. Very good. You can believe it. Very good. Yes, very nice. Uh, absolutely and instead. Me faltan esas dos. Si no, Miss Mario, usted hace instead. <laughs> Estoy haciendo de absolutely. Ah, usted era de absolutely. No, pero estoy intentando. Ah, very nice. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Yo no sé si está bien. Claro que sí, dígame. I absolutely enjoy my English class. Ah, that's a very nice sentence. All right, yes, I absolutely. Uh, yeah, it is, it is okay. Very good, thank you. All right. Yes, enjoy, verdad? Yes, enjoy. Mm -hmm. Very nice. A ver, Miss Jenny, yo sé que no se la asigné a usted, pero usted puede hacer instead. <laughs> ¿Qué le pasó, Jenny? Your microphone's off. No, 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 give me one minute. Ah, okay, I, I, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <of course. laughs> That's fine. Miss, Miss Jenny's thinking about her sentence. <laughs> yes, of course. Very good. Miss Jessica, instead, Hola. es como en lugar. En, en lugar, lugar de, de, yes, very good, ahorita. Y podría ser, perdón, no sé si, si porque también ahí poniendo en práctica, sería, I learn, learn, uh, English instead Korean. Korean. Instead of Korean. Very very good, Laurita. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I, I learn English instead of Korean. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. No, but super. Very nice. A ver, Jenny, igual usted termine la suya, Jenny. No se preocupe. Aquí estoy yo para irla. Uh -huh. I know I... I um, I I cook or oh, I can learn cook the instead for China food. Yeah, I can, yeah, you can say I can um I can learn to cook, I don't know. Um Mexican food instead of uh-huh. All right, very good. Yes, thank you. Okay, entonces, si se dan cuenta aquí, eh, polite, eh, ya dijimos que es como very nice, muy educado, educada, either es tampoco, okay, agrees, estar de acuerdo, y, and then we have instead, es en lugar de. All right, so those are like the words that I want you to know and to understand. Aparte de eso, we have this, we have should not chat. And we should answer, should not talk, and should help, Oops. should help. 
All right, so here we have the use of should and should not, okay? Should or shouldn't or should not is a modal verb. Igual que el could, igual que el would you mind, all right? This is another modal verb, all right? But the difference is that this one, you're going to use it for advice, okay? When we talk about advice, okay? Pero antes de meternos de lleno con el should y el shouldn't, all right, vamos a hacer dos cosas. Ahorita voy a tomar la asistencia de la segunda hora. Y luego quiero que nos vayamos a hacer el número uno. Y vamos a regresar. Cuando regresemos ya con esto acá, entonces vamos a ver el should and should not. Ok? That's what we're going to do right now. Let's see. Uh, Ada Carolina Campos, viuda de Ruano. ¿Saben si Adita está bien? No idea. Hoy, hoy no llegó porque estaba enferma. Ok. All right. Ok. Adilio Hernández Polanco. Adilio. Adilio is not around. All right. Um, Arely del Carmen Cortés de Peña. I'm here. Carlos Mauricio Cabrera Moreno. Present, Miss. Cristian Alberto Jovel Cantor. Present. Edgar Edenilson Meléndez Rivera. Present. Edith Lorena Martínez de Sandoval. Ahí está. Very good. Ercilia Damari Quintero Salvarado. Present. All right. Very good. Francisco Antonio Renderos. Present. Present. Yes, thank you. Gloria Dayana Álvarez de Morales. Ah, Gloria Dayana. Present. Thank you. <laughs> Gloria Maribel Mazariego de Morales. Present. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. Katherine Michelle Mejía Hernández. Present. Thank you. Eh, Laura Noemi Rivas Rivas. Present. María José Alfaro de Hernández. Roxana Elizabeth Alcántara de Roldán. Present. Thank you. Jasmine Jamilet Pacheco de Meléndez. Present. And Yolanda Beatriz Angulo de Vielman. Present. Very good. Uh, Roxana, ya no, se le, ya no tuvo problema con la Inter. No, ya no, ¿verdad? No, Miss. All right, very good. Okay, antes de eh, mandarlos a los grupos a hacer esa actividad, eh, necesito saber Frank, Christian, Michelle, como, eh, and, ajá, Frank, Christian y Michelle, que son los que estaban como behind, como van con la plataforma. Mi hija, a mí sinceramente no me quedó tiempo. Ahora en la tarde lo iba a hacer, pero me tocó hacer otra cosa en la tarde. All right. Y ahí, okay. algo tarde, pero... O ahora más noche lo voy a hacer igual. Ok, Frank. Decir. Pinky promise, Frank. Pinky sí. promise, ya. Yeah. Right. <risa> <risa> eh, okay, yo realmente no he podido hacerlo, pero sí he tenido tiempo, pero no he podido hacerlo. Pero All sí right. lo voy a hacer esta semana. Okay, Michelle. No ahora, pero sí esta semana. Thank you, promise, Michelle. <laughs> okay. All right, very good. And Christian, ¿cómo va usted? Sí, que a mí se me olvidó. Ah, vaya, Christian. Y el usuario no me acuerdo olvide. tampoco. Pero lo voy a buscar el usuario, creo que en el correo está. Okay. Si es el genérico, es 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A veces la contraseña. All right, bueno. Pero igual, sí, pero sí necesito, Cristian, que ya no se le olvide para poderlo hacer, ¿verdad? Porque sí, estábamos a cero. Entonces, sí okay. tenemos que ponernos en eso. Thank you. All right, very good, guys. Let's go back. Solo les voy a enseñar esto aquí para que, re, que vamos a hacer. This is what we're going to do right now, guys, ¿ok? I want you to work on number one. Y piensen, ustedes todos trabajan en el mismo colegio, en la misma empresa. Y decimos, does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? All right. Acuérdense que behavior es comportamiento. Tiene el colegio, en este caso, la institución, como reglas o cosas que regulen el comportamiento de los empleados. Vamos, van a decir yes or no, ¿verdad? Pero obviamente sí tiene. Entonces, luego decimos, I want you to name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company, 
all right? And I want you to make like full sentences, okay? One, an acceptable behavior in the school is, y me, de, me detalla y me cuenta cuál es one, an acceptable behavior, okay? Y son tres. So, esto no le va a llevar como mucho tiempo, pero igual, I want you to practice that right now. I'm going to create the groups right now. Okay. All right, guys, you may go. Eh, Laurita, bueno, no sé, Laurita me avisa si Edith Lorena puede unirse con usted. Because she was not available. Adilio and Michelle. Michelle se va a poder unir a su grupo. Eh, sí, mi, sí me voy a unir. All right. ¿Tiene ahí la, la, la invitación, Michelle?
Ready, Tiki? Ready. Excellent. Very I'm good. Always ready. Of course, that's the idea. I tried. I tried to. That's nice. Very good. To be ready. Of course. Very good. Thank you. All right. So, Chiki, I know you were working with um Christian. Christian. All right. So, the first question was, uh, does the school have regulations about employees' behavior? Yes. It has. All right. All right. Yes, it does. It does. Yes, Tiki. All right. Oh, yes, it has regulations. <laughs> Para somebody. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. All right, very good. Can you mention three, uh, let me see here, three of, three examples of unacceptable behavior in the school? Okay, why not? One an unacceptable behavior is an an unacceptable behavior, uh huh? An like an 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 unacceptable behavior. Yeah. Is use cell phones during classes. Okay, very good. Okay, another one. Don't leave the school without permission. Ah, very good. Another one. Because Miss Mary is gonna get mad. <laughs> Of course, <laughs> yes, of okay. course. And don't eat during class. Don't eat during classes. Yes. Oh, very good. That's very important. Okay. okay. Pero no creo que estén comiendo presencialmente en frente de los muchachos, ¿verdad? All Ms. right, Mari. no. <laughs> Miss Mari knows. Miss Mari, oh my goodness. Okay, very she knows. good. She knows. She knows, of course. Very good. Okay, yeah, that's unacceptable behavior. Very good. Okay, veamos. Jenny, um, can you mention other? Um, okay, Lorena, thank you. Can you mention other unacceptable behaviors at school? Uh, don't speak aloud. Don't speak loud. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, no practical jobs between college. Uh, between colleagues. College. Colleagues. Uh huh. Colleagues. Very good. Okay. Or workmates. Ah. Okay. Another one. Um. And and me, me only write two, but uh, don't don't <laughs> smoke. <laughs> don't smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Ok, very good. No, pero sabe que a veces, pues, si uno se ríe, ¿verdad? Pero bien de, dicen por ahí que el sentido común no es común para todos. All right, so, yeah, para, podríamos decir sí, ¿verdad? ¿Quién se le va a ocurrir comer en clase o estar fumando o no sé? ¿Verdad? Pero, pues, sí. All right, por, por algo existe un reglamento. <laughs> All right, very nice. Thank you. Let's see. A ver, Laurita. Who did you work with, Laura? Me. Me. Damari. Okay, very good. So, Laurita, tell me two, and Miss Damari, you tell me one. <laughs> Do not wear, no sé, inappropriate clothing. Ah, okay. Do not wear inappropriate clothing. Very good. Okay, another one, Laura. Uh, no chat during class hours. Ah, okay. Don't chat during class hour. Very good. Damari? Uh, do not respect in class schedules. schedules. Do not. Mm, do not respect or respect? Respect. Okay, respect the schedules. All right, very good. Yes, of course, very good. Charlie, uh -huh. Charlie with Beita, ¿verdad? Estaban, creo. All right, so Charlie, you tell me two. And Bea, you tell me two more. Uh -huh. Unacceptable <laughs> <laughs> uh, behavior is they. Aquí tenía duda con esta palabra. Procurir. Continúe, continúe, ajá. Así sería. Soy profaniri. Eh, creo que es mi inter... Uh, Charlie, I'm sorry, tell me again. 
Eh, say profanity. No, I don't understand. Eh, malas palabras. ¿Cómo sería esa? Oh, don't swear. Okay, or don't curse. All right, don't swear. Ah. Or don't use an appropriate language. All right. Ah. Okay. okay. Uh, aquí se nos juntó, pero... Okay, another is we no can use no no sorry 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 I That's know okay, Charlie. That's okay. All right, Miss Beita le va a ayudar. No se preocupe. A ver, Beita. I is. Use a pro appropriate vocabulary. Algo así lo quisimos poner, pero se nos fue el tiempo. <laughs> no, no es as appropriate o appropriate. Miss, tiene. Miss, you are in mute. What? Miss, you. <laughs> Sí, es Jessica, el micrófono. <risa> Sorry. Es que entraron mis hijas y entonces iban hablando. Entonces puse el micrófono así como que... Shh. Uh -huh. <risa> Sorry. A ver, estamos en appropriate. <risa> All right. Appropriate language or appropriate... appropriate vocabulary, vocabulary or language. Language. Vocabulary. I think it's language better. All right. Language. Very good. Okay. Okay, language. Eh, esta no sé si está bien. Dice, don't give your personal information to the parent. Sure, yes. Don't give your personal information to parents. Very good. To parents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To parents. Very good. Nice. All right. Ede, tell me. Thank you, Veitan. Thank you, Charlie. Aha, uh -huh. Ede, anything else? Me quitaron dos. <risa> eh, don't scream, don't smoke, and don't use nicknames. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. Very nice. Thank you. But yes. Everyone, everyone Pero usamos cheeky. uno. <risa> yes. Which one, Chiqui? Yeah. Chiqui, you know what? Before we finish this course, uh -huh. you have to tell me why is Chiqui. I just call you Chiqui, but okay. I have no idea why. <laughs> okay, I have I have the explanation. Excellent. For that. All right. Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, very good. Sí, porque si ya no lo veo después, así ya sé por qué le decían Chiqui. Ah, tiene que ver, no porque si no aquí hasta aquí llegamos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, very good. A ver, Jazz, ¿tiene alguna más o le robaron todas? <laughs> Son las mismas que las de Miss Jenny. Miss Jenny, ah, ok. All right, very good. Ok, and Diana creo que estaba con Ede, ¿verdad? Trabajando. Yes. Yeah, all right, so they are the same. And Miss Roxy, ¿con quién trabaja? Ah, con Miss Mari, me falta Miss Mari y Miss Roxy. O ya me dijeron, no, ¿verdad? No. Uh -huh. Roxy, you tell me two. I mean, Mari, you tell me ten. <laughs> en español le digo un montón. Excellent. Unacceptable behavior. Excellent. Unacceptable behavior, yes. Institution, institución. Ajá. Um, quiero ver. Uh, respectful vocabulary not uh, allowed. Inappropriately. Dress. Mm -hmm. uh, gold. Code, code, a code. code. Very good. Yes, in an appropriate the, code. Uh -huh. The last one, the last one, relationship between 
student and teacher. Oh, padre nuestro, of course. <laughs> yes, all right, very nice. Okay, very good. Miss Mari. Tell me two, no, tell me two more, Miss Mari. You know the whole reglamento. You have to tell me more. Miss Mari, ya le pasó las mías. Your microphone is off. Perdón, I'm sorry. A good, ¿cómo se dice trato? How do you say? Uh, treatment. A good treatment. Sure, you can say that. With the children. Yeah, of course. Yes. No, pero en este caso es unacceptable there. Yeah. Sería... Uh -huh. Unacceptable treatment with children. I mean, you have to treat them nicely. Uh-huh. Um, es que ya les dijeron todo, casi todas. Hay más. Mm. Inappropriate dress code. Yes. Um, las ausencias, como se dice. Oh. The absence. The absence. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Um, Anas. Unacceptable absences when they, the, o sea, they are not excused. Okay, um, okay, Chiqui. Yeah, we can say that. I guess there's another way, but um, unacceptable absences or no, unexcused absences are not allowed. In, ¿cómo se dice? Injustificada, uh -huh. ausencia injustificada. Unexcused. Unexcused Un absences. Uh -huh. Are Esa. not allowed. Unexcused uh -huh. absences. Okay. Uh -huh. They are not allowed. All right. Very good. Thank you, Mari. That's very nice. You see, you can say something else. All right. Very good. Excellent. Let's see, guys. We're going to continue here with your book. Y vamos a ver aquí. Bueno, teníamos, uh, I was telling you that we're going to use should or shouldn't. All right, they are model verbs, okay? So the same as could and would, nothing changes when you use should or shouldn't. So I'm gonna show you this here. Vamos a ir a esto de acá. Vamos a ver un segundo. Vamos a ver. Here we talk about should. Oops. Should and shouldn't, whoa. Okay, so we have this should and should not or shouldn't. All right, so what is the function? Okay, it gives advice or suggestion in English. Okay, so here we say advice an opinion you give someone about what they should do. Okay, should is a model auxiliary, a model verb, all right, that we use very frequently in English to give advice or recommendation. For example, the new restaurant downtown is great. You should try it. Deberías probarlo, deberías ir o debería tal cual. You should, okay, because you're giving advice or recommendation. We also use should to give our opinion about something. To say we think is a good idea or the right thing to do in our opinion, okay? Should is not as strong as must or have to. El must no lo hemos visto. El have to, si se acuerda que yo le preguntaba, what do you have to do? ¿Qué tiene que hacer? El should es menos fuerte que el have to. El have to es más obligation. All right. Si yo le digo, you have to work on the platform. All right. Porque es un requisito de eh, el programa. You have to work on your platform. Yo le digo, you should. Es mucho menos fuerte que el have to. Have to es an obligation. El should es usted debería. Ok. Yo le doy una recomendación, un consejo. Pero no le estoy diciendo que es obligación. Ok. El más igual. Ese no lo hemos visto aún. Consider these examples. A ver, Damari, léame los dos examples, please. Uh, 
You should stop smoking. Mm -hmm. it, would be, uh -huh. it would be a good idea. This my so suggestion. This is my suggestion. Uh -huh. Suggestion. You must stop smoking. It is necessary that you stop. You have to do it. Ok, aquí están viendo también el must, no, lo vamos a, no nos vamos a detener en él ahorita because that's not what we're talking about, sino que nada más en el should. You should stop smoking, all right? Cuando yo, por ejemplo, Charlie, all right? No, only an example, Charlie. Yo veo que Charlie fuma mucho. Entonces, si tiene hasta tos ya, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo le digo, mm, Charlie, you should stop smoking, all right? No lo estoy obligando a que lo deje de hacer. Le estoy diciendo que sería una buena idea que deje de hacerlo. Entonces, that's why I use should. You should stop smoking. Que Charlie me escuche o no, that's something different. All right, that's something else. But my suggestion for Charlie is to stop smoking. He should stop smoking. Okay? It is not an obligation. It is not a necessity, it's a suggestion or an advice, okay? The negative of should is shouldn't or should not. The contraction, the short form, is often used with the negative, especially in, especially in spoken English. The mother told her child, you shouldn't, Eat too much candy or you will get sick. Pero el niño se comió todos los dulcitos. All right? Usted le dijo you shouldn't. Pero no era así como que el niño no hizo mucho caso. All right? So you shouldn't. It's an advice. All right. Igual acá, we, it, we say we use shouldn't, shouldn't to give advice or to talk about what we think is right or wrong. Example. Imagínense que yo veo a Miss Jenny así ya cansadita y le digo, you look tired, Miss Jenny. You should go to bed. All right? Ya se ve cansada. Debería de irse a la cama. Debería de irse a dormir. You should. Que Jenny lo haga o no, it's, diff it's up to you. Okay? Usted me dice, no, Miss, I can't. I have to do the planning. I have to do the platform. <laughs> All right? I can't. Pero yo le recomiendo, le sugiero something. Okay? You should do something. It is a, it is a good thing to do. For example, a ver, um, ¿quién me lee esa oración que está ahí de example? The government show do more to help homeless people. Excellent, very good. The government should do more to help homeless people. All right, I suggest, I advise, but I don't know if they will do it, okay? Then we have, let's see, someone else to read this one? Someone else to read that one? Laurita, you wanna read that one, please? Okay, you shouldn't, shouldn't. Shouldn't, así Laurita, shouldn't. shouldn't. Okay, you shouldn't do something. It isn't a good thing to do. It isn't a good thing to do. Example, Laura. Example, the kids shouldn't spend so much time in front of the TV. Excellent, the kids shouldn't. It's not a good idea. It's not a good thing to do. Okay, let's see, a ver, questions. Do you have any questions about should or shouldn't? No? Teacher. Yes, uh, Mari. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the meaning of the word advice? Consejo. Ah, uh, okay. Entonces, por ejemplo, se me dice, teacher, ¿qué debería de hacer, por ejemplo, para... Uh, Para mejorar en el inglés. What should I do to improve my English? Yo le digo, ah, you should watch movies. You should speak only in English with your classmates. You should read. You should, I don't know. 
All right, listen to music, whatever you should. It's an advice. All right, okay. Okay, very good question, Mari. Thank you. Anybody else? Everybody understands should and shouldn't? Charlie, do you have a question? Or Frank? Or anybody? Solo una pregunta, ¿no? Dígame. Cuando, cuando se refiere a tercera persona, el verbo eh, se le agrega la S. No. no Acuérdese que normal. el should, exacto, el should, Frank, mm -hmm. pertenece a los verbos modales. Ok, y los verbos modales eh, para nadie cambia. Entonces yo digo, Mari should go to bed now. I say, the Mari and Jasmine should listen to Ede. All right. Eh, Laura and Chris should, I don't know, eh, whatever, read a book. OK. Entonces, ese no, para nadie cambia el verbo principal, ¿verdad? El, 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 el verbo, el, el otro verbo de acción, por decirlo así. El should va a ser igual para todos, igual que el siguiente verbo. You should go, she should go, they should go, we should go. Okay? Very good. Thank you, Frank. Very good. Um, Charlie, I don't know if you, you were going to ask a question. And then they... Yes, miss. Eh, como en el would you mind, ¿Mm? en el would you mind usábamos ING, ¿verdad? Okay. En este no tiene ninguna regla para los verbos, siempre van en forma, en su forma normal. Exacto, siempre van en forma normal. Cuando All right, usamos, yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Cuando lo ocupemos en negativo, el sur. Ajá. Si usted okay. dice, por ejemplo, yo le digo, Jasmine shouldn't go to school because Zoe is a newborn baby. All right, she shouldn't go. Okay, it's negative, pero no cambia, shouldn't go. Okay, no digo shouldn't goes, no digo shouldn't does go, tampoco, ¿verdad? No hago ninguna combinación con nada. Solo es el verbo modal, ya sea en affirmative or negative, and the verb, Charlie. Excellent, thank you. Ah, uh, creo que tenía Beita y no sé si Mari. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y en el caso de don't, por ejemplo, cuando estábamos viendo lo de... Lo de las reglas o lo de qué? Lo de la regulation. En ese sí. caso, no se puede usar eso. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre don't? Ah, lo que pasa don't, es que don't, cuando, don't. cuando nosotros decimos eh, don't smoke, don't, don't uh, come late, es como un imperative, ¿verdad? Es cuando ustedes, es una instrucción que la gente tiene que seguir. Eh, una vez trabaja en el colegio, usted sabe que no puede fumar, no puede llegar tarde, no puede comer en clase, no puede decir malas palabras, no puede uh, salir sin permiso. No, 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 ¿verdad? No puede, pero son como instrucciones y usamos imperatives. Ahora, eh, el should y el shouldn't en este caso son como consejos o sugerencias que usted hace. Por ejemplo, Laurita llegará donde usted le dice, ay, me, mis vea, me siento enferma. ¿Ok? Por decir algo, entonces usted le puede decir, ah, you should go to the clinic, you should talk to Miss Mari, you should rest. Entonces usted le da sugerencias de qué puede hacer ella. All right. Ok. Entonces no es como una obligación, sino que es más una, una sugerencia, un consejo. Mm -hmm. Very good. Eh, Mari, no sé si tenía una pregunta. No, era la misma de Charlie, que si el, okay. el verbo eh, estaba, se quedaba en su forma, en su, ¿cómo se dice? Su forma base o su forma original. Ajá, su, mm -hmm. su forma base. Sí. Y okay. para responder puedo utilizar el, el show también. Lo que pasa es que acuérdense que no es pregunta, ¿verdad? Cuando, Ajá, no, por ejemplo, eh. Yo la veo así como medio triste o medio cansada y le digo, Mari, you should go to bed. All right, no me está preguntando nada en el caso, sino que yo le sugiero, debería ir a acostarse, debería descansar, ¿verdad? O si usted tiene un problema y me dice, ¿qué, qué debo hacer, Jessica? What should I do? Ahí se pregunta, ¿verdad? Ajá. What should I do? Entonces ya le digo, ah, you should talk to Miss Chiqui, you should talk to the parents, whatever. Depending en el on caso, the problem. En, perdón, en el caso de lo que dijo Mari, You should go to bed right uh -huh. now. Uh -huh. Yo puedo decir, yes, I should. 
Mm, no, uh, no. Um, es más como, como no es pregunta, entonces yo no estoy esperando una respuesta suya, pero en el caso usted me dice, ya, yeah, you're right, tiene razón. Ajá. All right. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. O así como, ya, yeah, that's a good idea. I should go to bed. ¿Verdad? I should go okay. to bed. Uh -huh. Okay. Very Thank good. You. Very good question, guys. Very nice. Do you have any other question? Damari, no sé si está haciendo una pregunta, pero tiene el micrófono apagado. <laughs> All right, maybe not. Okay. No, Miss, gracias. Okay, very good. All right. Eh, I, um, let's see. We have like about 15 minutes. Vamos a hacer este trabajo. Uy, que lo hice. <laughs> Wait, God. It's here. Okay. Se lo voy a poner así. Para que lo veamos. Laurita, no questions, Laurita. No. No, me. Excellent. Very yeah. good. All right. Very good. A ver, tenemos este aquí. Si se fija, todo dice, ah, you, he, she, it, we, they, should. All right. Should is for everybody. And then we have it for everybody. All right, we don't change anything. I should eat. They should eat. We should eat. All right. If it's negative, we have all the pronouns. I, you, we, I, you, he, she, it, we, they shouldn't eat. Shouldn't for everybody. Nothing changes and it for everybody. Usted de repente... Eh, En este caso, no es que la usemos mucho, pero usted dice, debería de comer. Por ejemplo, usted está esperando a alguien y va a llegar tarde y le dice usted, should I eat? O sea, ya tengo hambre. <laughs> so, should I eat or should I wait for you? Ah, no, you can eat, that's okay, all right? No se ocupan tanto, sin embargo, sí es importante verla, all right, should. Se antepone el should a todos los pronombres, ok? En el caso que fuese necesario. Y luego si va a contestar, yes, you should, or no, you shouldn't, pero hacemos más como, yeah, it's a good idea, that's okay, I understand, all right, so we have those. Necesito que le tomen foto a esto de acá. A esto, please, can you take a picture? Y con eso vamos a ir terminando. Se van a ir a sus grupos ahorita. Can you please read the sentence and finish it, please? Ya sea should or shouldn't. Ready? Okay, guys. Very good. Let's go back. Seguimos con los mismos grupos. All right. So let's go. Uh, Chiqui, you were with Christian, right? Yes. I'm here. I know, I know, I know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just looking for him. I think he's not longer in the class. Ah, uh, creo que no. No, ya no está. Oh, trabaja yo solita, si quieres. No, mis chiqui, como no <laughs> Diana and Michelle, you can go to your groups. A ver. Michelle, Michelle. Ahorita mis. Ay, 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 ay. All right, Chiqui, go. Bye. Bye.
All right, guys, let's check what we have here. All right, let me see. Adilio, number one. It's almost eight o'clock. You go Shoot. to work now. Excuse me? Shoot. Excellent. You should go to work now. Very good. Roxana, number two. And number two is should Alex cook dinner? Yes, he should. Excellent. Yes, he should. Very good. Charlie, number three. My friend shouldn't try to get smoking. Are you sure, um, Charlie and Bea? Negative. Seguro. No sé. Chul. Chul. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí, porque mi, mi amigo debería intentar, all right, dejar de fumar. All right, so my friend should try to quit smoking. Si no le estás okay. induciendo al piso. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, Frank, number four. Uh, we should stay at home. Um, we shouldn't go out. Excellent. We should stay at home. We shouldn't go out. Very nice. Uh, Bea, number five. Number five. Uh, should. Okay. Should they watch TV all day? Mm -hmm. No, they shouldn't. Excellent, very nice, very good. Mari, number six. Six. Um, Stuart? Stuart looks very sick. He should see a doctor. Excellent. Very good, Miss Mari, thank you. All right, Laurita, number seven. You shouldn't we pardon, drive a car without <laughs> wear, wearing your seat seat belt. Sí, belt. Seat belt. Uh -huh. <laughs> you shouldn't drive a car without wearing your seat belt, el cinturón, seat all right? Belt. Yes, seat belt, very good. Jenny, number eight. What should, what should we eat for dinner tonight? Mm -hmm. What should we eat for dinner tonight? Very good. Jasmine, number nine. Uh, there's a fi fire in the kitchen. What should, should we do? Oh my goodness, yes, there's a fire in the kitchen. What should we do? Very good, Jess. Chiki, number 10. Please be quiet. You shouldn't make so much noise in the library. Excellent, very nice. Uh, Michelle, can you do number 11, Michelle? Ah, pero creo que no estaba en el grupo. That's okay, Michelle, no se preocupe. Um, Ede, number 11. When I, when should I take this medicine? Excellent. When should I take this medicine? Very good. Diana, can you do number 12? Should I press the red button? Mm -hmm. No, should, shouldn't, not shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. Very yeah. good. Yeah, no, you shouldn't. A ver, que será ese red button. <laughs> All right, very good. Let me see here. Um, Frank, number 13. Mm, 13. 13, yes. How much money I should, no, how much money should I bring with me to the store? 
Okay. How much money no should I? Muy, no entendí mucho esa esa esa. Esa esa pregunta. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto dinero debería traer? Ah, eh, debería traer. Ajá, ¿no? debería traer ajá. conmigo, ¿verdad? Para ir a ajá. esa tienda o ese almacén. Ajá. What money should I bring with? Ajá. Okay. All right, Charlie, regresemos a la 13, please. It's very late. Ah, esta me encanta. Me encanta. We should go to bed. I know, ya casi. Almost in one minute. <laughs> And the last one. A ver, um, Beita. Uh, you shouldn't cross the street until the light is green. Excellent. Yeah. You shouldn't cross the street until the light is green. Hasta que el semáforo esté en verde. All right. You shouldn't cross the street. No debería de pasarse la calle hasta que esté en verde. All right, guys. Very good. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, por favor. Avancen siempre en la plataforma y nos vemos mañana. Ok. Um, Michelle le toca ahora, pero no sé si se siente como para quedarse. All right. Si no, eh, that's ok. Los demás se pueden retirar. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. bye Good night. night. Bye, bye. No va a pasar asistencia. No. Yeah, bye. Oops, chiqui. <laughs> Okay. All right. Y yeah, entren Michelle, otra vez. Que entren otra vez. Ahora right, no se preocupe, Michelle. Mari se va a quedar ahora. Vaya. Vaya. All right. That's okay, Chiqui. Was Chiqui me va a acompañar. Yeah. Okay, Chiqui, you stay. ¿Qué? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Chiqui. What? 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 I stay with what? me. Bye. Bye, Chiqui. <laughs> Bye, Mari. See you tomorrow. <laughs> bye, bye 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 chiqui descanse bye diana bye. Sí, yo me digo, bye diana have a nice night descanse bye daya bye <laughs> miss mari i forgot <laughs> oops <laughs> oops <laughs> that's okay pero y miren, ni habíamos terminado y ya se salieron, qué barbaridad. Ah. Ay, no, qué tremendo. <risa> All right. Sí me di cuenta que we were texting, así de, ups, y le pregunté, <risa> la dejé en medio. <risa> Ay, Ay, yo, ups. Y, y yo había escrito mal, no sé por qué, qué había bien. puesto otra cosa, por eso es que estaba... Si aquí puse he, ¿y por qué dice he Stuart? ¿En qué número estoy? Esta estaba perdida. <risa> It was my mistake. Yes, ah. I know, Miss Mari. Yo sé lo que usted dice abajo. You are learning. Sí. Un poco, okay. Aunque nos cueste un poco, pero sí. Sí estamos, sí estamos. Yes, Miss Mari, you, you always fix your nails. Very pretty. Mi <laughs> no, but it's very nice. Yeah. And you do it yourself, Miss Mari, or you go to a salon? No, I I can. I oh, can, really? but in in me, no, no, I can't. Oh, <laughs> en really? otras personas sí puedo, pero ah, yo no puedo. <laughs> okay, very good. I study it. Yeah, you told I me. Studied cosmetology. Yes, uh -huh. es cierto. Yes. Uh -huh. Yo puedo, yo puedo, pero yo voy a que me la haga. Uh -huh. But it looks very pretty. Sí. It looks very nice. Ya tengo <laughs> como seis meses. Estas son mías. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. Igual yo cuando me las hago es como en baño y mi uña. <laughs> Ajá, así sí. Sí. Ayer sufrió esta, murió. I wash, I wash. Ah. I wash. I wash. Excellent. I my like car. that. Oh. <laughs> I wash my car and. It got ruined. And, and Pukiti. <laughs> <laughs> Me golpeé la uña. <laughs> oh my God. But it didn't break. It didn't break. What? 
it didn't break. No, okay. No, okay. no. Así que se oh. fue. Right. Pero sí. Very good. Es mi pequeño gustito. Sí, that's fine. You tenemos, tenemos el problema que nosotros queremos traducir cuando hablamos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Yo sí soy. But it's normal, Miss Mari. It's okay. I mean, con el tiempo se quita. Y de repente ni yeah. se da cuenta. Yes. Sí, chiquet, I have 21 years uh -huh. trying to talk English. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mari, but you have not taken it seriously. I think. You think. Uh -huh. <laughs> because you know why? Because everything around you is not English, and you haven't had the real necessity to speak it. Because mm -hmm. with the little English that you speak, you understand what you need for the job. All right. Entonces, uh -huh. como que nos acomodamos. Okay, this is what I know, and this is what I need. All right. No more. So, although yes. you have been practicing, and, and you speak it, Mari, you just need to, you just need to, I don't know, soltarse, you know? <laughs> That's yeah. it, means because you have the, you have it here. You have the ideas. You just yes. need to speak it. Porque una cosa I, no have, I, I have only one friend mm -hmm. in, in my, in that school. Okay. And she came. ¿Cómo se dice? Ella llega donde mí. And she comes? She comes. And she all the time speaking English. Okay. Y Very yo como, in, 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 and she tell she tells Miss mm -hmm. you como me dijo una vez you speak in English to me. Algo así, no sé. Pero yo le entiendo. Salud, salud. Bless you, bless you. Bless Thank you. you. <laughs> pero no. Mm -hmm. sí, yo, sí. yo puedo entender, pero me cuesta hablar. Claro. Ay, pero ya la vamos a hacer que hable. No se preocupe. Uh -huh. <laughs> I yeah. hope so. Yes, very good. In you the four so. modulo. <laughs> the five and the six. The seventh and the eight. ¿Cuántos módulos son, Tich? Son motomis. Son seis de cada nivel. Seis principiantes, seis intermedios y seis eh, avanzados. Son dieciocho al final. Ah, o sea, son, yo leí que eran dos años. Sí, prácticamente. Entonces, uh -huh. Pero estamos hablando, yo dije dos años de, de, de básico. Dije no, 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 se divide en seis, seis, seis. Lo que pasa es que se hacen dos años, Mari, porque como vacación y de repente periodos donde se, se extiende, ¿verdad? Pero eh, en sí son seis módulos del básico, seis del intermedio y seis del avanzado. Uh -huh. It's a long process, all right? Yes. Pero fíjense que la verdad que eh, yo tuve la experiencia de trabajar en una fábrica, en, dándoles inglés a unos chicos, e iba, solo que estábamos todavía en presencial, no estaba la pandemia ni cerca. Mm -hmm. Entonces estuve yendo dos años, e íbamos todos los días, lo mismo que hacemos acá, solo que presencial, ¿verdad? O sea que usted va a estar todos los dos años. <risa> ¡Wow! Entonces, eh, sí se ven los resultados, Maris. La verdad que, mire, tiene mucho que ver también con el alumno y el, en el hecho de cuánto tiempo le dedica, qué más hace aparte de, ¿verdad? Porque sí, dos horas son bastante todos los días, sin embargo, las otras 22 horas, todo es en español. Yes. Entonces, pero no, fíjese que de repente estos chicos, ese grupo se mantuvo. Eh, casi que todos los mismos hasta el final y la verdad que bueno llegó a, llegó a un punto que uno de los chicos se salió de la fábrica y se está trabajando ahora en el aeropuerto wow yes very nice super nice porque de hecho 
la fábrica está en, en Zacate, en el uh -huh. Pedregal. Entonces allá es como que, you work in the factory and there's no more. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But because he learned English, he had the choice to leave the factory and go work at the airport. <gasps> wow. So he's been working there for like, ya lleva casi dos años en el aeropuerto. Y sabe que lo interesante es que a, eh, entró en X puesto y ha seguido ascendiendo dentro ascendiendo. de Ascendiendo. Oh. And he's very, 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 very dedicated. Sabe que de dos años, de verdad que estuve yo con ellos, yo creo que faltó tres días en dos años. O sea, él estuvo ahí siempre. Y llegó cero. O sea, fue así como que nacen. Lo del instituto y tal cual, pero ya. Mm, qué chévere. Si es que ya ve, you can do it. Ok, no termina mi sueño. El sueño de, uno de mis sueños era trabajar ahí en el aeropuerto. ¿En serio? Yes, no se acuerda que yo quería ser aeromos. Sí, eso sí, tiene razón, eso se me había olvidado. Sí, yo no podría haber sido aeromosa, pero trabajar en el aeropuerto fue uno de mis sueños. Pero el inglés, ay Dios. Mm -hmm. Neles, me costó. Yeah. Pero, Pero no se termina. Claro, no, no, para no, nada. No. Very good, Mari, la voy a dejar descansar. Okay. Thank you so much for staying with me. <ríe> Pobrecita. <ríe> Te van así como que ya no me va a querer la niña. Así de, me te quita mi mami más tiempo. <ríe> no, hombre, sí, se va donde mi mami porque aquí se aburre. A veces sí se queda, pero a veces se va para allá porque si sí, yo no le puse el caso y, y a veces me estaba de hablar y <risa> no know. puedo poner atención, entonces allá se va a jugar ahorita tengo que ir para allá <risa> All right, Mari, descansa entonces la veo mañana, oye bye, bye, bye thank you bye. igual, bye